Hi there, and welcome to another lesson. I am Mira, and today we start learning the genitive case in Ukrainian. This lesson is an introduction, as there are so many rules and there are so many things to be said about the genitive case. So, in this lesson, you are going to learn Rodovy Vidminok, Rodovy genitive case, Rodovy Vidminok. And today we are going to look when do we need it or for what do we need it and also we are going to look how to form how to change the endings of a noun into the genitive case from the nominative case so let's get started rodovy vidminok if we have a noun in the genitive case we can put a question koho of whom and choho of what koho Чого? Remember about these two question words. Кого? Чого? Now let's look when do we use it or for what do we need to have a noun in the genitive case. So, belonging. With the help of this case we can show that something belongs to someone. We can express possession or belonging with the help of the genitive case. And here is an example. Kniha studenta. Kniha, a book. Kniha or knishka. You can say kniha, knishka. Kniha is written in the nominative case. Kniha student. We know student, a student, a male student. But here it's written studenta. And it means the book of a student or in English you can say student's book. Kneha studenta. So here student is written in the rodovy vidminok, genitive case. Kneha studenta. We also use it for some negative sentences. And here is an example. U nas nema or you can say nemaje. Chasu, we have no time or we don't have time. So time here is written in the genitive case. U nas nemaje chasu, chas time, but in the genitive case chasu. U nas nemaje chasu. U nas nemaje chliba. We have no bread. U nas nemaje, and then you can say anything you want. So, for some negative sentences, you need to have your noun in the genitive case. The next is after some prepositions. There are some prepositions, and we will have a separate video lesson for that. After these prepositions, we need to put our noun in the genitive case. For example, one example here, bez without. So if you want to say that something or someone, something, anything, without something, then you should say bez plus noun in the genitive case. So here is an example bez cukru. Ja zavždy piu kavu bez cukru. I always drink coffee without sugar. Ja zavždy piu kavu bez cukru. Again, ja zavždy piu kavu bez cukru. Unfortunately, it's not the truth about me. Bez cukru. So you can say bez studenta, without a student. Bez hrošej, without money. Bez kvartiri, without a flat. Without a car, bez Machine. So after bez we always use rodovy vidminok. So these are the three main cases when do we use or for what do we need the genitive case in Ukrainian. Belonging or possession, some negative sentences and also after some prepositions. Now let's look at the endings, the hardest part. At the endings of the noun, or what endings does our noun get in the rodovy vidminok genitive case? So if we have, so now I'm sorry again, we are back for the masculine gender of nouns. So again, we are back to the genders of nouns. 
It's a very important topic, genders of nouns. If you don't know about it, please check the link, it will be under the video. So, it's very important to know to which gender our noun belongs before we start adding genitive case endings. So, here we have Cholovici read, masculine gender. So, if we know already that our noun belongs to the masculine gender and we need to put it in the genitive case, here are the endings a or ya. So, our noun can be are, have the ending are or ya. So, if, it's a, if you have a hard consonant, then we get a. If it's a soft consonant, we get ya. Or, what is it makes very hard, the masculine gender of nouns of the genitive case, is that some of the nouns, they can have not a ya. They can have u for hard consonants or u for soft. So, you need to know when to use a ya or and when to use u u. There are so many rules for this gender of the Rodovay Vidminok for this genitive case. I think I will make a separate video for that or maybe even several separate videos as there are really a lot of information and if you are interested in this let me know and um, yes so today we are just looking at some examples for you just to have an idea how it works so for masculine gender Chulovici read we can have again a or ya u or you and again if our noun ends in a hard consonant we get a or u but if we have a soft consonant or maybe if we have like here we have the soft sign then we need to have ya or u now lo let's look at the examples sin sin will have the ending a sin and now here we can look at our examples and we can practice using these words sena in the genitive case in some sentences or word combinations. For example, kneha sena, a book of a son, or a ball of a son, miyach. A ball is miyach with a, an apostrophe here, miyach. So miyach we don't change; it stays in the nominative case. So we have miyach sena. A ball of a son or son's ball. Miyach sina. Okay, negative sentence. Maybe unas nemaye sina. We have no son. Unas nemaye sina. If you say sin as in the nominative case, this sound it's not correct. The sentence sounds not correctly. So here bas sina. Maybe we are traveling this summer without a son. Цього літа ми подорожуємо без сина. Without a son. So, без, and then we need genitive case, сина. Без сина. Okay, next. Лікар. Лікаря. After ри, we get я. Лікар. Лікаря. In the genitive case. And again. Here, книга лікаря, book of a doctor or doctor's book, книга лікаря. У нас немає лікаря, let it be the same sentence. У нас немає лікаря, we have no doctor. У нас немає лікаря. And без лікаря, without a doctor. Без лікаря. Like, don't drink or don't take this medicine without a doctor, for example. Не пей, drink, sometimes we can say in Ukrainian to drink medicine, or don't take, не приймай ліки без лікаря, without a doctor, без лікаря. Так, хлопець, a boy, хлопець, in the genitive case, here we will have small change. Хлоп. 
Це ендинг я. Хлопця. Хлопця. Again, без хлопця, without a boy or a boyfriend, it can be без хлопця. She is without a boyfriend. Вона без хлопця. Or maybe today she is without a boyfriend. Сьогодні вона без хлопця. Without a boyfriend or just a boy. Книга хлопця. A book or a boy or boy's book. Наступне. Банк, 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 in the genitive we add u, банку. And, for example, у нас немає банку. We have no bank, maybe in our street, на нашій вулиці. На нашій вулиці, we can say like this, на нашій вулиці немає банку. There is no bank in our street. На нашій вулиці немає банку. Наступне. Steel, a table. Стола. Here again some change in the root vowel. Стола. A table. Steel, стола. Без стола. Ця кімната без стола. This room is without a table. Ця кімната без стола. It's not the truth. Here I have a table. But just example. Стола. Без стола. Добре, наступне. Олівець. A pencil. Олівець. Олівця. О-лі-в-ця. So, this is a disappeared and we have я. Олівець, олівця. Без олівця, without a pencil. Why are you without a pencil today? Чому ти без олівця сьогодні? Чому ти без олівця, without, без олівця сьогодні? Наступне. Водій, a driver. Водій, водій, Y will be changed to ya. Vodi ya. Vodi ya. Vodi, vodi ya. Bez vodi ya. Without a driver. U nas ne maje vodi ya. We have no driver. U nas ne maje vodi ya. And maybe, what we can add one more example, maybe like, Автобус водія. A bus of a driver. Автобус. Автобус водія. So this we have here we have nouns in singular. In plural our nouns will get endings. So this is singular and in plural we have Eve or Eve. So, in nominative case, сини, sons, сини, nominative case. First, you need to go back to the nominative case, сини, but in the genitive case, we get сынів, сы, okay, I'll write here, сынів, sons. Без синів, without sons. У нас немає синів. Again, we have no sons. Книга синів. A book of sons. Книга синів. So, if we get, if here we have a hard consonant, then we add if. If here we have, if we have a soft consonant, we get if. Okay, let me show one example with Yiv. So, Likar, here we have Ya, and Likariv. No, I'm sure, I'm so sorry, here we will have Yiv. Likariv, Likari, doctors. In nominative case, we have in plural Likari, Likari, Li, 
Oops. Riv. Doctors. Bez likariv. Without doctors. Likariv. Ok. Chlopec. Chlopci. Chlopciv. Ok. Let's look at this example. Vodij. Vodij. One driver. If you need drivers. Vodij. This is a nominative case. Just drivers. Vodij. But in the plural of the genitive case, we will get yiv. Vodi, again yiv. Vodi yiv. Bez vodi yiv. Without drivers. Vodi yiv. So here we have endings for chulovici read, masculine gender of rodovoy vidminok genitive case. So I hope everything is clear. If not, don't forget to ask. And again, this is just an introduction and we will have several more lessons about this case Rodovay Vidminuk. Now let's move to Jinochi Rit. Jinochi Rit here. Feminine gender. If our feminine gender noun has an ending a, we change it to a for Rodovay Vidminuk. Or if we have the soft sign or ya, ja, we change it to e or ye. And uh, when we have e, uh, ya, ja, the ending, we change it to e, ye. Now let's practice and let's look how it works. Sestra, 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 a sister. So we have here the ending a, uh, which will be changed to a, uh, sestre. And again, we can go through the same examples. Kneha, sestre. Sister's book. Or a book of a sister. Kneha, sestre. U nas nemaje sestre. We have no sister. And uh, bez sestre. Without a sister. Sestra, sestre. Mama, the ending a. Mame. Bez mame. Without a mother. Bez mame. Kniha, kniha, mame. Kvartira, mame. A flat of a mother. Kvartira, mame. Tak, simja. Here we have the ending ja, which will be changed to sim ji. Ja, we change to ji. Simja, sim ji. Bez sim ji. Without a family. Bez simji. U nas nemaje simji. We have no family, for example. Mrija, a dream. Mrija. Here we will have mriji. Ja i ja will be changed to i ji. Or just instead of ja, ji. Mriji. Mriji, dreams. Solomija. A name, Solomia, Solomi ye. E ye. Instead of e ya, e ye. Solomi, that's Solomi. Without Solomi. That's Solomi. So here we had singular. Now let's talk about, about plural. So we have sestra, one sister in nominative case. First we need to think about the plural of sestra. For the nominative case and it's the same as genitive case singular. So we have sestre but the stress will be different. So if we have sister's book, so here we have, we need uh, genitive case, we have sestre, sestre, kniha sestre. But here Plural of a nominative case will be sestre, just different, different stress. Sestre, sestre. So sestre, plural for nominative case. Sestre, sestre, sestre. If you need rodovoy uh, vidminok, so we will have sester. Here a little bit tricky and hard. Says. 
as most of the nouns in, gen in genitive case in uh, feminine gender, they have no endings in plural. Sister, sestry, sister. So we can say, у нас немає сестер. We have no sisters. У нас немає сестер. Без сестер, without sisters. Книга сестер. A book of sisters. Так, and one more maybe example. We take семья. Семья. One family. Семьи. Семьи will be families in the nominative case. And in genitive case we will have семей. I will write just here семей. So, I think, again, we will make separate lesson for this genitive case because there are so many rules and exceptions, but for you just general, general, general information today. And now, середній рід, neuter gender, середній рід. Here we have change or to a, e to ya for the neuter gender nouns. And examples. Selo, a village, sela. So here we will have the ending a in the genitive case. Selo, sela. Without a village, bez, bez sela. Now we have more, and e changes to ya. More, more. U nas nemaje more. We have no sea. Or maybe в Україні немає моря, which is not true, but just an example. In Ukraine there is no sea. We have sea, but just an example. Вікно, вікна, the same as село, села, вікно, вікна, поле, поля, поля, без поля. Without a field. Pole, a field. Без поля. Without a field, for example. Без поля. Озеро has the ending O, which will be A in genitive case. Озеро. Без озеро. Without озеро lake. Яблуко. And again, яблука. So, again, there are some changes and um, it's hard a little bit with the plural for the neuter gender nouns. Just several examples. Very often they have no endings. And there are again some changes, vowel changes within a word. Selo. So first think about plural of the nominative case. Sela. Sela will be just villages. Sela. And you can see that some words they are the same in genitive case singular as they are in the nominative case plural. Here we have se, selo, sela. But in the nominative case they have different stress than in the genitive case. So se, selo, sela, but plural of the nominative case is sela, sela. And plural of the genitive case will be just seal. Bez seal. Without villages. More. More. A C. Now again, let's think first about nominative case plural. Moria. And here we will have the same as the masculine gender. More. Riv. Ending Eve. Moria, Moriv. So, this is what I have for this lesson for the genitive case. It's a little bit hard, maybe. Maybe it looks first hard, but when you learn the endings, when you practice, it won't be so hard for you. So, I'll be waiting for your comments and see you soon. Bye bye.